Welcome back to Director's Choice. There are more theories surrounding the Ice Age franchise than there are planets surrounding the sun. But having crazy theories is a rite of passage for animated movies, so just gotta love them. Some of these theories are reasonable while others are out of this world. Some make you go, hmm, that could be true, while others have you saying, that's a load of baloney. Among the many theories surrounding the Ice Age movie, some are more believable than others. In this episode, we'll go over some of the notable Ice Age theories. From the completely outrageous, most likely not true ones, to the this could be possible ones. Let's get into it. The Franchise When the first Ice Age movie dropped in 2002, it received a lot of good reviews. It was one of the most successful animated movies from the early 2000s. Over the years, more than five Ice Age movies have dropped, with each one stirring up a new theory or adding to an existing one. It's always fun to see what crazy theories fans will come up with next. So without further ado, let's get into the Ice Age theory. What happened to the human race? If you have watched all or even some of the movies in the Ice Age franchise, then the first question you might be asking yourself is, what happened to the human race? As the franchise grew, it slowly shifted away from the human race and logic in general. It becomes more and more cartoony as they added wacky characters like dinosaurs, pirates, and aliens. Not only are humans not shown in the following movies, but they are also not mentioned. Many expected a grown-up Roshan to at least make an appearance in one of the sequels of the first movie. It's weird that Roshan never came back to thank the animals that brought him home. While it's possible that he doesn't remember, there's a great chance that his family told him what happened. Only something huge could have stopped Roshan from returning to thank his saviors. The first Ice Age movie was centered around a human. It was 81 minutes of a group of lovable animals risking it all to return a human child to his tribe. After such a wholesome first movie that revolved around the human race and its interaction with animals, how is it possible that humans never appear in the franchise again? What happened to them? There are many theories that strive to answer this popular question. Humans are still alive. This theory is sensible but a bit unrealistic. Then again, all good theories are. In this theory, humans are still alive, they just haven't crossed with animals in a long time. Humans and animals have been living on their sides of their world without interacting. But how possible is this? Is it possible for animals and humans to live on the same planet and not interact? At some point, they would have to cross paths, so why haven't we seen them? Humans are in hiding. After everything that happened in the first Ice Age movie, humans may have gone into hiding. It must have been scary losing one of their own, and maybe the only solution they saw was to hide from animals altogether. Why risk when you can avoid, right? This theory raises another question though. Where is humanity hiding? Maybe in a cave or at the top of some mountain. They could be anywhere, really. Humans are extinct. This is the obvious, yet slightly outrageous explanation for what happened to humans in the Ice Age. What else could ensure that no humans are present for several years after the first movie? It's very likely that humans simply went extinct after the first events of the first movie. Now, the next question is who or what killed the humans? God. A few fans claimed that it was God, himself who wiped out the human race, and that is why they do not appear in the Ice Age anymore. But how true is this, and what evidence is there to back it up? This theory suggests that God wiped out humans because of the actions of one saber-toothed squirrel, Scrat. Scrat is an adorable little animal who has an obsession with acorns. He could do absolutely anything to get his hand on an acorn, even though it means putting himself in danger. In the seven-minute short film, No Time for Nuts, which aired in 2006, Scrat was looking for a suitable spot to hide his acorn when he stumbled upon a skeleton. The skeleton belonged to a human scientist who created a time machine. Scrat finds the time machine buried with the skeleton in the snow. He unknowingly turns the machine on and it blasts his beloved acorn, annoying the saber-toothed squirrel. He angrily attacks the machine, but then he gets blasted too and travels through time. Scrat goes around creating problems in the timeline and eventually ends up in a dimension filled with clocks and acorns. So here's the theory. Scrat's actions resulted in a hole in the space-time continuum that angered God. Seeing as Scrat isn't necessarily responsible for his actions owing to the fact that he is a simpleton with no sense of his own, God chooses to punish humanity and not Scrat. If you think about it in a way, it kind of makes sense. God sees that Scrat is an ordinary creature who wouldn't have caused any problems if a human hadn't created the time machine. So technically, it's all humanity's fault and God understands this. 
A human tried to play God by creating a device that would give them limitless power. That human may have died, but their machine was found by a simple creature, and that creature ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. The way I see it, humanity needs to be punished, and that's exactly what God did. But he didn't target one human or even all the scientists in a hundred-mile radius. Instead, he wiped out all of humanity. And instead of waiting for humanity to develop and become smart enough to actually create a time machine, he decided to wipe them out in the early stage in 20,000 BC, when the human race was still a bunch of Neanderthals. He snipped the planet right from the roots to ensure it doesn't grow again. A bit harsh, but I guess he has to do what he has to do. How did humanity die? So now we know God killed the human race, but how did he do it? Ice Age The Meltdown is another incredible movie in the Ice Age franchise that aired in 2006. While humans did not appear in this movie, there are a few subtle signs that indicate what happened to them and what led to their demise. The first thing that jumps right out at you when you watch the movie is how it relates to the events in the Bible. In the movie, there is a flood that engulfs the valley and forces the animals to leave. All the animals are trying to reach a huge boat to save themselves from the flood. What does that sound like to you? Exactly. It sounds like the story of Noah's Ark from the Bible. So maybe just maybe this flood that almost killed the animals in the valley is the flood that wiped out the human race. A flood that was sent by God because he was angry at humanity. Just like the flood he sent when he was angry at humanity in the story of Noah's Ark. There's something else about this story that makes it similar to Noah's story. In the movie, the animals were often seen walking in groups of twos, just like in the Bible when God told Noah to take two of each animal. The animals don't die in the flood, but the humans do, leading to the extinction of the human race in the Ice Age universe. The last surviving human tribe died out. This is another possible theory for what happened to humans in the Ice Age. Maybe there was only one tribe left, the tribe our beloved trio met in the first movie. And maybe this tribe died out after little Roshan was returned to his family. Who knows, maybe they were devoured by a group of saber-toothed tigers who aren't as nice as Diego. Or maybe the cold became too much for them and they died of hypothermia. There are a lot of things that could wipe out the human race. Well, that brings us to today's video. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these Ice Age theories? Which ones do you agree with? Also, take a look at this other recent clip by Director's Choice. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever we drop an episode.